Hello Heather, I've just come up to the studio to do a bit of painting. I thought I'd have a little look at um, what I do for painting the edges of my paintings. Um, I mean, I don't do the same thing all the time, you know, like we said, I do a bit of a butterfly, flit around a bit. But I do sometimes just use um, ordinary clear shellac on the plain wood, um, a couple of layers of that, and it gives it a nice glossy finish. Um, also, I use something called black polish, which is like a black shellac. I mean, your husband might know of it because I think it's, it's to do with furniture restoration and things like that. I don't know if you can get hold of that, but here's sort of one layer, obviously. It does seep a bit, as you, you know, like the shellac does, so you have to mask it off. But it gives quite a nice finish because you can still see the grain through. It's not like black paint. Um, and yet you get the nice gloss, um, sort of sealed finish. If you want, if you're painting, if you want sort of a black colour. Um, and then I uh, would use either singly Payne's Grey or mix a few colours to make it a bit sort of deeper. Just acrylic paint and brush it and paint it on. I'm just a bit worried I, you know, with spray paint getting bits on it and leaving it about to dry and all the rest of it. Um, and I've never done that. Maybe that's a really good way of doing it. But um, I mean, here are some, here's um, a panel that's just got the clear shellac on, a couple of coats. Um, this one, um, I put some mica bronze, sort of mica powder in with a bronzy colour to tone in and just painted that on. Uh, that one, that one up there again is just the clear shellac. Uh, let's see. That would be the Payne's Grey, just painted on the edge. That one up there. Uh, a sort of a dark graphite grey. Mostly I would say I use acrylic paint to just finish off the edges. That one, sort of a goldy colour. Um, so I don't know what you think, whether what your... If we can work out what sort of colours we're thinking of, I think that would be um, the main thing. Um, obviously, if you think that black would be too stark, then we steer clear of the black shellac. Maybe we, the acrylic paints are a bit more flexible in terms of mixing colours. Or, you know, I'm happy to go spray paint again, but we've got to find the, right, the same spray paint, really. I mean, that's the beauty of acrylic paints. Mostly, you get what you... We can both sort of get the same colours, can't we, roughly? I mean, paints grey, yellow ochre. What's that one? Burnt orange. Oops. Whatever. Something like that. <laughs> Raw rumble or something. Um, if that's the colours we go for, of course, because we don't know, do we? <laughs> anyway, I'll um, we'll have another conversation about it. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Bye.